Hello, I wanted to do a uh, review on the um, Metallica Kill 'Em All Deluxe box set. Um, I guess it was released maybe over a year ago or so. Uh, this isn't an unboxing, it's just a review. And um, for anybody who doesn't know, I am a huge Cliff Burton fan. He was uh, my very first bass uh, influence slash inspiration. And he played on Metallica's first three albums, um, Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, and Master of Puppets. And um, so anything that Metallica release or re-release with him, I'm definitely going to buy. I can't help it. Um, he is definitely one of my uh, favorite bassists. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to try to show you everything in here as best I can. Uh, please excuse me, I don't have a... Uh, tripod or anything. I'm just holding the camera so if it moves or whatever, I apologize. Um, this is probably one of my favorite uh, Metallica albums, by the way. Uh, this one and um, well, the first three, basically. Um, but anyway, this is uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I wanted, like I said, I was going to try to show you everything that's in here and um, just go through what I think about it. Anyway, so let's get started. This uh, is, uh, you know, what came uh, with it in the back. This was on the back. Basically, it tells you everything that's in here. Um, so, this is the patch. I'm not really sure why they threw this in here, but it's pretty cool to have. This was the sticker that uh, was on the uh, was on the cover. I just saved that. Anyway, you're hit with this nice book. Um, it's a, um, it's a book, uh, you know, just a, uh, collective of everything that, you know, went on during their career in the beginning, and, uh, has a bunch of pictures, and, uh, just, just a lot of really cool stuff in here. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry about this angle, um, but, uh. I'm not really used to doing these kinds of things, but anyway, that's a really nice picture of Cliff. And this is this whole thing is actually was actually done by his father Ray. It's, it's really this is this was a really nice read. You know, this whole book was really fun to read. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'll just go through the rest of the book. You guys can look at it if you want. I apologize again for this shitty angle. Another nice picture of Cliff there. But yeah, it's just basically stories from people that, you know, were with them at the uh, the beginning of their career and the start. And just a lot of cool stuff that uh, I guess they just, you know, saved and collected and just threw in here. I'm just going to go through this. I'm not going to talk very much while I do this. <laughs> hey, there's Kirk. <laughs> In the crowd. Some really nice photos and stuff. I don't know. Cliff and James. This is a really nice picture of the band. Yeah. So this is my favorite, uh, Lineup of Metallica, I guess. <laughs> Cliff giving the middle finger, that's always cool. <laughs> wow, a really young Kirk Hammett.
Cliff and James again. I'm just trying to show you guys what's in this book uh, as best as I can. If any of you uh, don't have it or uh, might not be able to get it, I don't know. Because I think this book only comes in this box set. And, um, I know some of these box sets, especially ones that are loaded with stuff, aren't very uh, cheap. And you know how it can be to not be able to afford things. And I know I'm doing such a shitty job at showing you, I, I apologize. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's basically the book. Uh, very nice. So, this is what the uh, box was about, Kill Them All. Um, this is the, um, the album Remastered. Remastered, remastered, yes, remastered. Um, I, it didn't come in this plastic sleeve. I actually put that on because um, when I opened it, the, uh, the album had all these white spots, like all over it, all over the back. So I put uh, this protective sleeve on there so they wouldn't rub against each other anymore. That is a really bad pixelated picture. I don't know why Metallica chose to uh, release it when the picture is so bad like that and that's on their new their their own label now blackened and so um that sounds okay i mean it sounds pretty good but um i don't know anyway this is a, um a record of a live show at the escape ballard from paris france um this sounds really good uh cliff space comes in like it gets loud it gets like it gets louder at some points, and then it gets low, um, and his bass comes through, and it's, if you're not, like, used to that kind of thing, it'll probably give the normal person a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, that sound, that, that show sounds pretty good. Now, this here is the, uh, Jump in the Fire, uh, single, uh, picture disc, and this thing really sounds amazing. Um, and a lot of picture discs do not sound good, to me anyway. And, uh, this is the back. And all these records and stuff come with um, a downloadable card where you can go on the friggin' internet and download it. I don't know why they did that. So, those are all the, the, the records that they give you. And here's all the CDs remastered. Um, I don't know, this sounds like the, the, same, the same to me as my, my other copy. Um, just maybe a little louder. I don't know. Um, this is a, a radio interview with, uh, Lars, and a thing where, like, they come on and say, hi, this is such and such from Metallica, you're listening to Blank and Blank radio station. Um, the interview with Lars is about 69 minutes, and, um, it's really hard to hear him at times, because there's so much going on in the background. Like, people screaming, people talking. I don't even know how Lars even heard the interviewer, but, um, that was an okay. Um, this, the rough mixes and demos and stuff, this thing is really, really good. Um, this really sounds good. Uh, I like this one a lot. Uh, I'm glad they put that in there. And this is a, a, a live show. Another live show in New York. Uh, this was this was pretty good too. You know they they really uh, cleaned up the sounds on these and made it sound good. So this is a, uh, another live show from um, Palo Alto, California, from '83, uh, the year Kill 'Em All was released. This is another good one. These are all DVD, I mean CDs, and this is the DVD um, where you can watch. And this is a really cool show. I really enjoyed this uh, DVD. It was a pretty good show, except for like the first 17 minutes. There's no uh, audio, so you're basically just watching the band. 
uh, play with no sound, which I didn't mind, but, um, you know, another thing, they didn't make these holes big enough, so do not put this box, if you get it, do not put this box set uh, upright, because all these CDs and stuff are going to fall out. So basically, uh, that's, that's what's um, in this set. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, Metallica love to overdose us for some reason with stuff, and um, I'm glad though. I'm glad they do. But I like overdosing on Metallica sometimes, especially when Cliff is involved. Especially when Cliff is involved. Um, so anyway, that's my shitty review on this um, box set here. Uh, it's very, it's very nice. It's uh, very heavy. I think this thing is like 20 pounds, maybe? I don't know. It's very heavy, obviously. Um, anyway, if, you, if you're if you still here and you're watching this, I thank you. I do appreciate it. Trust me. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was my uh, review of the uh, Metallica Kill'em All box set. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.